Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 27th of 2023. Well, it is titled Maven's Ultraviolet Mars. So what do we see here? Well, here we see two images of the planet Mars. Now Mars is often known as the red planet. And you'll see it doesn't look very red here. And that's because this is not a visible light image. Here we are looking at Mars in the ultraviolet. So we're detecting ultraviolet light and coding that into different colors to allow us to see it. Now when we're looking at the surface of Mars here, we see two different images taken about six months apart. On the left, we see from July of 2022. On the right, January of 2023. So we're getting to see some seasonal changes on Mars. Now, MAVEN is also known as the Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution Spacecraft and is studying the atmosphere of Mars. So while we've often studied the surface, this is a chance to look at the atmosphere. What do we see on the surface? Well, we see a lot of craters in both images as we would normally see in a visible light image. On the left, you'll note that we see the polar cap. That's Mars's south polar cap, very prominent in the winter season on the left, but essentially gone in the summer season on the right. So just as our polar caps on Earth grow and shrink with the seasons, so do those on Mars. Now the difference would be that Mars has much longer seasons because its year is longer. It's got a longer orbit takes longer to orbit the sun and therefore its seasons are going to be longer than those here on Earth. But otherwise it can it has a similar tilt so has similar seasons to what we are used to here on Earth. Now you notice the purple color on the top of the right hand image and that is looking at ozone. So ozone in the upper atmosphere that we see in that image. And again, there we are looking at the winter season in the northern hemisphere. So remember, on the left hand side, we see the winter in the south, and that would be summer in the north. On the right, we would see the opposite. We would see summer in the south and winter in the north, just as we do here on Earth. So we see that concentration of that material of that ozone in the Mars's upper atmosphere. So why do we study Mars in the ultraviolet? What's wrong with visible light? Well, remember, everything is everything gives off different types of light. So some objects are simply not visible or are not giving off most of their energy in the visible portion of our of the spectrum. Certainly, that's what we're used to here on Earth. That's what our sun gives off. So that's what our eyes have adapted to detect the best. However, there are a lot of cooler objects that give off primarily infrared or very cool objects that give off radio rays. There are also specific elements that will give off different types of light depending on their temperatures. So being able to study things based on the entire electromagnetic spectrum, including not only visible light, gives us a more complete picture of the object we are studying, in this case, the planet Mars. So that was our picture of the day for June 27th of 2023. It was titled Maven's Ultraviolet Mars. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Galaxies Away. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.